your reaction then? A 2-0 win here. Goal in each half was the difference between the two sides. And Mortworth, in sweltering conditions, earned a, a routine three points. Yeah, I don't think the scoring punches did it justice. It was a very comfortable game, I thought, today. I thought we were electric from the first minute. Again, the amount of times we get in the final third in the great areas, we've just got to <laughs> kill teams off because we've come out and we've given games a bit of hope second half and he started really well, got a free kick around the box and that could have changed the game. And I said at half time that I thought from the first minute to the 30th minute we controlled it and no disrespect again, but I thought it got too easy from 30 to 45 and we got a little bit sloppy and, and then they picked up, we got a bit of confidence, played some nice stuff and, and then Nobbs just scored a little deflection but we've gone 2 0 up and should have been should have been a few more today, but look, a win in this league and a clean sheet's massive. Was it a, a game based on the, the hot weather that kind of had to manage in chunks? It's almost like 15, 20 minute chunks, so the first half of the first half, this, and then we had the drinks break. It's it took kind of a bit of a different scenario for you to deal with, really. Yeah, again, like I said, I was a bit disappointed because, like I said, it was probably the tempo slowed down and we try and pass it or hold on to the ball a little bit too much. And you do that when you're tired or when it's hot. And again, the lads are playing, I want them just to keep the ball. And we've, like I said, we've got 11 footballers at half time that can do that. So just do it, enjoy the ball, especially on a hot day when we're playing football like we are. Because there's going to be times of the season where it's going to be difficult. And we know that. So you've got to enjoy the times now when I think we're flying. I think a big chunk of your satisfaction will stem from the clean sheet today. Because I know how much you kind of value those. So you'll be pleased to see it happen and want to see it more often. Yeah, I thought the back five, including Laos and that, were fantastic. I, I said to me, it's the best I've seen him in weeks, months. I thought he was really solid there alongside Jeff. He didn't really think at any point they were going to try and get through us, which, again, the last six games we have done, other teams have, which doesn't lie, we've seen it. But today they didn't play through us once, Laos. It was about time Laos had a nice, comfortable afternoon. I think he had one little save that it rises, like, blocked up his head. So that was nice for Laos to have a little chill day, but look, clean sheets are massive in the league again. Easy thing to say, you don't concede, you don't lose. So 1-0 at half time, we knew we could build on it and we did. It just I said after the game that the only disappointment was it wasn't 4-5. So that's not a bad disappointment to have on a Saturday afternoon. So look, in this league you take any wins you can. Games was going through a, a changing period at the minute as well. So look, I wish them all the best, but it was a great win for us today. Um, just looking ahead briefly then, whilst I've got you to uh, to next Saturday, is there anything you can learn from this Saturday that you can maybe draw on a, a home FA Cup tie against Southport and the promise of a, a fairly decent afternoon if it's anything like the Radcliffe game? Yeah, I think it will. I think the big thing for me is that are we going to get seven, eight, nine, ten chances a half against Southport? I very much doubt it now. We've won for him a bounce since we swapped the manager over, had a great win today. So if we get one or two chances, we've got to be, we've got to be clinical with them. We, we start off bad four weeks ago if we got these in the FA Cup, you'd be clapping your hands, but not now. We brought in a really experienced manager who's obviously turned things around really quickly. So hopefully the fans are coming, I hope the fans are enjoying it. We should be, because it's great football we're playing and it's made for a massive game. We obviously the underdogs, but we're at home and we'll back ourselves against anyone. Like I said, against Radcliffe, if we won six out of six, we had to, we just said, why not have a go and we'll do the same on Saturday.